Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today I'm doing a No Catch Your Name episode. <laughs> I think it's 152. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> you're not on my tripod. I left it in the bedroom and Devin's sleeping. I don't want to go bug him, so you're just sitting on top of my sewing tackle box. <laughs> so you're a different angle. And uh, yeah, but anyways, I got some finished objects to share with you guys and some progress on my whips. So yeah, let's get them to out. Okay. So I'll start with these ones because it'd be easier. So first I worked some on my Christmas blanket. That is a pattern by Maria's Blue Crown. I actually forgot to write that down, but I remembered it. <laughs> so um, I've been working solely on her Christmas square blanket. I made all my Santa squares and I made a bunch of red squares. I showed you those recently. So now I'm working on, I finished up week two and I'm working on week three of the cow. I'm just doing it a week at a time. Not technically a week, but you know, I'm doing it as she put it out just so that it's not so stressful but so this is the rest of week two which was snowman so i did finish the little snowman appliques and i sewed them onto their squares so there's four of those i made all their little noses a little different going in different directions so that uh they look slightly different so those are all done so i got the santa ones all done and the snowman ones all done so now i'm working on week three which is the christmas tree ones and it is four of the Aaron color squares so I got the four Aaron color squares done and then I got one of the green ones because and this week you make four green ones instead of red ones so I got some of it done so I need to make three more green squares and these the Christmas tree appliques will be on here I think I might do a different one though because the one she has is with loop stitches and I absolutely hate doing loop stitches <laughs> so I might just find a different um, Christmas tree applique, uh, applique to put on here um, because I don't really want to do the loop stitches. So, yeah. So, it's getting there. So, these are finished objects. But it, they're technically whip also. Because they're part of a bigger project. But squares are finished. So, that still counts. I'm counting. <laughs> Alright. Another square that I finished. My stuff. I got stuff everywhere. Is my P movie and stitch uh, blanket square. So, my P movie was Peter Pan. The old cartoon from Disney. Did you say stitch? Yeah. <laughs> No, stitch like cro crochet stitches. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm using the same square base. Which is the Simple Says It Best square by The Perfect Knot. And it's a free Ravelry download. Everything being linked below. So here's my square. So it's like a starry sky. And I made the, the two big stars. And it's the second star to the right. <laughs> where Neverland is. So I thought that was cute. So this is just a red heart. Um scrap of a, like a navy blue and white and also the other ones i forgot to say that it's red heart aaron this is red heart patty green and the snowman is scrap balls of uh white pumpkin and black well, actually the black is uh premier just yarn from the dollar tree but the rest of it's all red heart including the square and the back of the square looks crazy <laughs> but i'm gonna line this blanket when it's done and i'm also gonna line my christmas blanket when it's done with Fleece or flannel? Pro probably the Christmas one would be fleece because I got the cute print fleece. I think the phone shifted. Sorry about that. And uh, this one might, I might do with flannel so it's a little bit lighter because fleece is kind of heavy. But anyways, yeah, it's a trick. All right, now I got two amigurumis to show you. These are both made for um, national holiday videos. I keep looking outside because it's real windy and I can see the grass moving. It's catching my attention. <laughs> so first I made an amigurumi cake for um, national decorating cake day or something like that and this is a free pattern by all of at stringy ding ding and she's got a lot uh this one pattern has like five or six cake different cakes you can make out of it so i just made a pink one I love pink. pink and white with some whipped cream and a cherry on top <laughs> this is all red heart too this is cherry red white and this is oh, i always forget this one it's like perfect pink or something like that scrap balls there's a little jog there but that's okay i accidentally messed up and i left out one of these puff stitches but it doesn't matter that could be the side of the cake <laughs> but yeah so it's just a cute little cake and then the next one i made just recently and it is let me see here it's called amigurumi super mario mushroom by toma creations <laughs> it's a free pattern also i just thought it's so cute like i said in that video that it looks like a little gnome house you just have to like stitch on a door <laughs> it'd be so cute now you put like a little chimney that is so cute Jesse wants me to put eyes on it to make it look like a Mario mushroom, which I'll do eventually, <laughs> maybe. But, 
it is so cute it was quick and again red heart what and this is the bright red by red heart i think it's called hot red or red hot i always forget but this is my last scrap ball of it i have like this much left and then i need to buy another skein of that because i don't have any anymore I'm trying to use up all my scrap balls or use them down so that i have more room to put more in there <laughs> But yes, that's all my finished objects except some appliques, which is on my spider blanket. And these appliques I didn't use patterns for, I just did it myself. So the first one is this Black Widow spider. He's made with Cherry Red by Red Heart and uh, Premier Just Jar in Black from the Dollar Tree. And I just made a circle. I started with 6 and I increased to 12 and to 18. And then the legs are just, I chained 4 and slip stitched 3 back. And I uh, did four on each side. And I just stitched on that little hourglass on there. And then the other one is my eyeballs, I think. They're over here. And they're, the whites is just uh, the same as the spider. 6, 12, and 18. And then the blacks is just six. And I just stitched on the little glints. And the uh, the veiny, veiny red stuff <laughs> on there. So those are just no pattern used. I just whipped them up. I need to make more because my patterns, my blanket's getting bigger and I need more um, appliques now. But, okay, that's all the finished objects. Now on to whips. I only worked on two of my whips. So technically I worked on the Christmas blanket. I just forgot to write that down. So I worked on three whips because I worked on the Christmas blanket. I've been working on my spider blanket. It's gotten a lot bigger since last time I showed it on an episode. So here it all is. So far. I did finish putting in all these scrap balls that were gifted to me in a swap by Jennifer and then I started adding my own scrap balls about the last three rows is maybe three or four rows is my own scrap balls so yeah I got a lot of ends I need to catch up on I did pretty good I wove in a bunch of them but there's still quite a few <laughs> so I need to catch that up and I'm gonna keep letting this grow until it gets huge I want it to be a nice big blanket size for on the couch around Halloween time so let's get in there yeah, and then my next whip is my The Midwife Blanket by Yarn and Chi, I think is what it's called. <laughs> and I worked on it a lot. I forgot to put a stitch marker on here to show you where it was last time, but I think I only had three rows in, three color repeats in. And now I've got, hang on, where's my yarn at? I've got two whole repeats of the three colors, and I'm starting on the third repeat. So here it is. I think it was somewhere in this pink last time I showed it to you guys. I just forgot to mark it. So I did finish a whole nother repeat of all three colors, and I started pink this morning. I finished this uh, multicolor this morning, and I started on the pink. I have this pattern in my brain, so I don't even, I have it printed off. <laughs> but I don't even need to look at it anymore, because I just I haven't memorized. It's turned out so cute. I think I'm going to make it three more of the three color repeats long. So that would be, what, one, two, maybe nine more Sections will eight in this little bit of pink <laughs> uh, long, and then I'll do a border. I think that'd be a good size for a little baby. And I'm still gonna have a bunch of yarn left because those those um these balls of yarn are pretty big. These are Hershner's Worsted Eight baby yarn. They were gifted to me. <laughs> My bag's in the way. And uh, there's the cover. This one's called Fairy Princess, and I think it's got a whole bunch of yardage in it. I'll see here. I'll find it eventually. 489 yards each ball. That's a lot. So there'll definitely be more left over. The purple is called Pansies. And the pink is called Ballerina. It's living in my homie bag. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's growing really good. I like it. It's a fun, like, mindless project because I got the pattern memorized so I can just sit there and work on it while watching videos. I think it's turned out so cute. I'm going to put a stitch marker on it this time. So next time I can show you the growth. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it was in this pink down here last time. I think. <laughs> but yeah, so that's my active whips. I do also have that swancho still. But I haven't worked on it this week. <clears throat> so there's no progress to show there. I want to finish that. It's just I've been distracted with this. The uh, spider blanket and the, uh, the midwife blanket. Oh, and the spider blanket. It's mostly red heart scraps. But the middle square from this black part and the white part is a free pattern by Yarn Utopia. I'll link it all below if you want to check it out. But yeah, so that's what I've been working on the last week and a half-ish since the last episode. I can't remember when it was. About a week ago, maybe. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, been popping out quite a few things. I'm pretty excited about it. 
So, uh, yeah, I'm hoping to finish up this midwife blanket pretty soon because it's, it's working pretty quick. Spider blanket I'll be working on all October, I'm pretty sure. Depends on how big it gets. Because I want to put a lot, like last night I worked on it a lot and I wanted to work on it more. <laughs> but I don't want to finish it super early, so I'm trying to pace myself. And uh, I'll be making more amigurumis eventually. And I want to work on the Christmas blanket because it's, it's getting Christmas time. <laughs> so I need to get it done. Um... And I'm going to record how I line that because I've had multiple people ask me. It's actually pretty easy, but it does require one tool that you might have to purchase if you don't already own it. Um, but other than that, it's easy. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I will, I will show that when the time comes. It's going to be difficult probably. <laughs> I might need Devin's help filming that one. Because when I lined my other ones, I have to lay them in the floor and cut it out and stuff that way. But by the time I do the Christmas one, I'm going to be like in the 30 weeks of pregnancy. So it might be a little challenging, but I'll do it. <laughs> so that's what I've been working on. All the links will be down below. I'm going to get this video edited and up this morning. It's kind of early. It's like 11. <laughs> I was going to re record this early this morning, but I got really rough feeling, like nauseous. And I haven't done that in a while. So it was weird. But uh, yeah, so I rested and I ate some uh, salty chips and that seemed to calm my stomach down. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to hop off here, and I'll leave everything linked below if you want to check it out. And I'm pretty sure everything's free patterns this time. I think so. <laughs> I usually stick to free patterns, um, unless it's something I really, really want. But, yeah, I guess I'm going to let you guys go now. <laughs> I'll see you in probably a weekish or so for another epi episode of No Kitchen Name. So, hopefully, I'll have more finished objects. <laughs> probably some more squares for sure, because these little squares, I have the pattern for it memorized too so I can whip them up pretty quickly I use an eye hook for these I'm using an eye hook for my spider blanket so I keep using the same hook I just keep the yarn together and then I either pick up the spider blanket or the squares and make you know I can make them so it's it's easy to do that way and this little guy I'm using a G hook I thought I lost my G hook my clover one I was like an error for it and then I remembered it was in this project I need to get some more clovers because I really like them but I'd like to have multiples of hooks you know because I like them a lot. But anyways, <laughs> I'm going to hop off here. And I'll see you guys in another video. A vlog later today. And, uh, yeah. Bye. <laughs>